Never accept the life that's been given to you. If it's something that you never like, I need you to change it. Never accept the life that's been given to you if you think that it'll never become who you were meant to be. You don't have to accept the life that's been given to you. So if you want to change it, you can actually change it. You don't have to accept the life that's been given to you when nobody wants to support you and they're not standing up and clapping or they're not hitting a share button or a like button or a heart or they're not motivating you to become better or they're not pushing you to become better. I'm telling you right now, you do not have to accept the life that's been given to you because I didn't. You looking at a kid right now that I'm a published author. I don't know what a published author looked like to you, but I never accepted the life that was given to me. Why am I telling you that? Because listen to me, they counted me out and the people that counted me out, they couldn't count. So I'm telling you that you never have to accept the life that's been given to you. I'm a father, I'm a husband, I'm a speaker, I'm an author, I'm an entrepreneur. And I did this with no blueprint. And I did this with straight will and determination because I understood that, listen, in order for me to leave a legacy, there were some things that I had to change. There were some things that I needed to become. I had to cut out the excuses. So I'm telling you right now, in order for you to be successful in life, I need you to cut out the excuses. I need you to end it all. No matter what it may look like, I need you to stop it right now. Because if you continue to come up with excuses through life, you'll never get to the level that you need to. And you will always stay in your comfort zone. It's a beautiful place, but nothing grows there. And you got to take advantage of the opportunity in this lifetime. Because if you never take advantage of the opportunity, you'll continue to make excuses. You'll continue to be who people always said that you would be. So I need you to block out the haters. I need you to block out the lies. I need you to block out the people that don't support you. I need you to block it all out, no matter what it may look like. Because understand this, God gave you the vision. He didn't give it to them. So when they don't see your vision, I need you to understand that, listen, he gave it to me. So I'm locked in and I'm focused. No matter what it may look like, no matter what you may say, no matter what type of opposition that come my way, I need you to understand this. Understand that no matter what it is, no matter what level or whatever level you may get to, in life understand your purpose and understand that he gave you the vision so i need you to walk it out because we know if it was easy everybody would do it but it's not easy understanding your purpose it's not easy walking out your purpose it's not easy being successful it's not easy being an entrepreneur it's not easy being married it's not easy being a father it's not easy to be who you are meant to become. And you think that don't nobody understand what you're going through. Or you think that can't nobody feel your pain. But what do you do? Are you supposed to harp on it? Are you supposed to cry? Are you supposed to make excuses? No, you're supposed to sit right here and get down on your grind and stay locked in and stay focused no matter what it may look like, no matter what they may do, no matter what they may say, because I'm telling you right now, it is me and you against the world no matter what we may face, no matter what comes our way, no matter what they say, no matter what they do, we can get it out the mud and we will become who we were meant to become because... All we know is grind. All we know is is how to hustle. So it makes you appreciate it a little bit more. I get my motivation from my kids. I get my motivation from the people in the community. I get my motivation from the people that's going through pain and they quote the things that I say. Like those are the real trophies for me. I don't care about none of the money. I don't care about the accolades. I care about the impact. And they said that none of this would be possible. They said that none of this could happen because I wasn't from that side of the track. I wasn't from that side where they provided me with a silver spoon in my mouth. I wasn't from that side where I grew up in a two-parent household. I wasn't from that side where you had much support or love. So the things that I didn't have, I made sure that I became those things. 
Because I said the negativity stops with me. I looked opposition dead in its face and I told opposition that you'll never be able to get my kids. I looked opposition in its face and I said you'll never be able to get my company. So I'm telling you right now, you never have to accept the life that's been given to you. Because I didn't. So I'm challenging you right now. Listen to me very closely. I'm challenging you right now that you do not have to accept the life that's been given to you. Anytime you face opposition, anytime you face any obstacle, anytime there's a hurdle in your way, listen, you can jump the hurdle. It may not move, but you can jump through it. And if you can't jump, then go around it. Anytime you face any type of opposition, I'm telling you right now, the person that's on the inside of you needs to come out because the person is the person that's on the inside of you is bigger than any type of opposition that you face. I could have gave up when my brother died. I could have gave up when my cousin died. I could have gave up when I lost my job. I could have gave up when they told me, Logan, you'll never be anything in life. I could have gave up when nobody wanted to clap for me and told me, Logan, you will make it happen. And so I never made excuses. But I always made a grind for it. I always understood that there's a person out there right now that's successful in life. And hey, they put their pants on one leg at a time just like I do. Because we all got the same 24 hours. The problem is, is do you know how to maximize it? Do you know how to use it? Because people that's not successful, they don't maximize their 24 hours. They sit on their behind. They sit on their butt. They stay all on social media. They sit right here and judge you because you're making it happen. And they tell you that you can't become anything or you'll never be anything or that you think you all that. Or they think that you will never be able to be who you need to be. So I'm telling you right now, you don't have to accept the life that's been given to you. But what I do want you to do is I want you to put one foot in front of the other. I want you to. Stay locked in. I want you to stay focused. There were people that were before you that fought for you to have the opportunity that you have right now because they didn't accept the life that was given to them. So why should you? Today is the day that you become who you are destined to be. Today is the day that you become the person that people said you would never be. Today is the day that you find your purpose and you start to project yourself forward as you become the person that you were destined to be. Today is the day that come hell or high water, you'll come out swinging because your back is against the wall and you have no other choice but to move forward. You see, I'm telling you that because that was the day that I found my purpose. That was the day that I found my calling. Today is the day that you jump over the hurdle and that you choose to not allow fear to paralyze you. Because now is the time, now is the opportunity for you to turn your dreams into a reality like never before. Because you can only do this. There isn't anybody else that can do it, you can. But you gotta believe in yourself. Do you have the ability to believe in yourself like never before? Do you have the ability to have the humility that when all the stars and all the things that align in your favor, can you be humble enough to step up to the challenge and not let the screams and the cheers get the best of you? Why am I telling you this? I'm telling you this because don't let it get to you. Because there's going to be family and friends that are not going to support you. There are going to be family and friends that are going to tell you that you cannot turn your dreams into a reality. There are going to be family and friends that they believe that, listen, if I just hang on your coattail just for enough time, or if I just hang on your coattail long enough, that you will make it. And I can always say that you will do it, but I never believed in you from the beginning. You see, I'm talking to somebody because I got it out the mud and I understand what it feels like. 
I understand what it feels like to have those people that are two-faced it. I understand what it feels like to have those people that tell you you can't turn your dreams into a reality. I also understand that you have those people that are rooting for you. And I know that it's far and in between and that you may have more negative people in your ear more than you have the positive people. But I'm standing here to tell you that it gets better. I'm standing here to tell you that you can turn your dreams into a reality. I'm standing here to tell you that you can make it happen. I'm standing here to tell you that you must believe in yourself because how you see yourself is how the world gonna treat you and so if you see yourself as a piece of gum on the bottom of a shoe then you can't complain and get mad when nobody believes in you because see there's somebody right now that's looking for what you have there is somebody right now that is wanting the words of encouragement that you have to say but because you're too scared to speak life into that person they'll never get it you see I had to understand that in order for me to go to another level in life in order for me to do what I'm doing now I had to believe in myself I had to believe in myself. I had to stay consistent. I had to block out the noise. I had to block out the people that hated on me. I had to block out the people that always had something negative to say. So what am I challenging you with right now? I'm challenging you with to believe in yourself. I'm challenging you with staying consistent. And last but not least, I'm challenging you to fight it out no matter what. Why be normal when you can be extraordinary?